Thanks everyone for coming today. Um, we're excited to announce our 2017 recruiting class. Uh, we feel these future buffs um, will really, really have the potential to come in and make an impact on our program. Obviously, after our success last season, finishing tied for second in the Pac-12 and advancing in the NCAA tournament and um, finishing with a top 25 ranking, we have some really important shoes to fill. Um, we lost six very talented seniors. Not only were they good on the field, but off the field in their leadership. So um, we knew this would be a big and an important class for us. And we feel with the uh, nine players that we have coming in, um, that they all have qualities to um, develop, get better, but also, also in a lot of cases to really make an immediate impact because of the important players that we lost. First player I'd like to discuss in our 2017 recruiting class is Jorian Bacham. Jorian is a uh, transfer from LSU um, where she's played three seasons, so she'll have one season here with the Buffs. Um, Jorian's been one of the top uh, goal scorers in the SEC um, during her three-year career with over 30 goals scored, um, lots of accolades on and off the field. Um, Jorian's uh, strong, um, is quick, uh, is good with her back to the goal. She's good in the box. Um, she's just a goal scorer. And importantly for us, with losing Danica Evans and Emily Bruder, um, she has a lot of experience, and we hope that she can come in and make an in immediate impact on our program. Hannah Cardenas uh, comes to us uh, from California. Uh, H Hannah plays her club soccer with uh, Slammers, one of the top uh, youth uh, programs in the country. Uh, Hannah has the ability to play anywhere along the back line, but also can jump into the midfield. Um, she's smooth on the ball, um, great pace, um, just really has a feel for the game. I think she's a player that's really still developing. I think she has uh, all the tools you're looking for for a defender in the Pac-12 as far as being able to read the game. Like I talked about her quickness and pace, but her strength and her tackling ability. But she also has the ability to get forward. So she gives us a lot of flexibility um, as far as defending, but also potentially getting in the, in the attack. We also feel that she's technical enough that she could jump in uh, to the central midfield as maybe a holding center midfielder um, and kind of defend from there and kind of spring the attack. So we're real excited to add Hannah to our program. Libby Garrity is a striker from here in Colorado, um, Cherry uh, Creek High School. Played her club soccer with Colorado Storm. Actually, uh, she was playing for our current assistant and recruiting coordinator, Dave Morgan. Um, in club before Dave joined us here at CU. Um, so we're excited to add her to the Buff family. Uh, Libby is, is a flat out goal scorer. Um, she's been the leading scorer for her ECNL team um, for the last four or five years. Um, but she also can play in the midfield and attacking midfield role. She's good on the ball. She's, she's really good in the box. She's really a good finisher. Um, she reads the game well. Um, also has the pace and athleticism to compete in the Pac-12. Once again, with us losing a couple uh, senior strikers, I think she'll have the opportunity to come in and make an impact for us. Um, and we're real excited that Libby is uh, going to be a buff. Jordan Goodwin comes to us from Broomfield, Colorado and, and Broomfield High School. Uh, Jordan also plays her club soccer we're right here in town with FC Boulder, um, who's doing a really good job developing some youth talent, um, not only for us, but for a lot of programs around the country. Jordan is a central midfielder. She's a box-to-box -box central midfielder. Uh, she can tackle. Uh, she's cleaning the ball. She reads the play well. Um, she's come to a couple of our camps and really shown some really nice things. I think the thing that Jordan brings that as we're evaluating the players that a lot of other players are bring, she has a tremendous engine. She's always running, covering ground. Um, we have a good midfield group coming back, but I think Jordan has a lot of intangibles where she'll be able to uh, make an impact. But I think she's also a player that's really going to develop being in our system and competing at this level. Katie Joel is another attacking player and another local product out of Mountain Vista High School here in Arizona. Um, she played her club soccer with Real Colorado, uh, another one of the top uh, clubs in the country. Um, Katie is the one thing that probably separates Katie from some of maybe some of our other players is her tremendous pace. Um, and the other thing is she's really come on uh, in the last couple of years with her club team and with her high school team. Um, great pace, running at people. Um, not afraid to attack. I think she can play wide, but I think she could also play centrally in a, in a two front. Um, we feel that Katie, as she, as she gets into our program, will really develop. I think we haven't seen the best soccer out of her. Um, she's shown over the last year, as you recruit these players, you want to see them improve. And she's shown a lot of improvement and we're excited to, to get her into camp uh, this summer and, and uh, have her be a buff. Kayla McPherson also comes to us from Cherry Creek High School in, in Colorado Storm, where she's a teammate with Libby. 
um, uh, for quite a few years. Um, Caitlin is a goalkeeper that we feel working with Jason um, and our other returning goalkeepers, Scott Watson and, and JJ Tompkins, that she'll really develop. Losing Kenzie Tillett, who obviously played a little bit on the field last year, um, Caitlin will have an opportunity to come in um, and compete with our other two goalkeepers. She has great size, um, good athleticism for her size, but just really a great person that I think is really gonna buy into the work ethic that'll need to compete at the Pac-12 level as a goalkeeper. Cassie Phillips uh, is another one of our transfers. Uh, she's joining us from the University of Maryland, originally from Michigan. Uh, she's here. Um, she joined us in, at spring and she's been working out with us this winter. Um, so I think she's been able to get a, a head start. Uh, Cassie's a player that we recruited out of high school, obviously, and we're real pleased uh, that she decided to transfer, uh, transfer to us for her last two years um, of collegiate action. Cassie's smooth on the ball, um, is a true playmaker in the midfield. She can play in a holding role, she can play in an attacking role. Um, she covers ground, she's very fit. And having uh, two years experience in the Big Ten at the University of Maryland, she comes in to, a, like I said, a, a very good midfield group, but I think she has all the tools to make an impact. And we're, uh, once again, we're happy that uh, Cassie is a buff and has joined us this spring. Marty Pukatapu joins us as the first ever buff from New Zealand. Once again, Marty has also joined us that semester and is currently training with the team. Marty has great experience with the New Zealand national teams from uh, youth U17, uh, U20 World Cups, and now is uh, getting some attention from the full national team and will be, be getting called in with them um, here later in the spring. Um, Marty is a, is a pure striker, uh, plays well with her back to the goal, um, is uh, great in the hold-up play, and is really, once again, is really good in the box. And as we talked about earlier, um, with us losing a couple of very important senior strikers, we feel that we've brought in some players to compete with the players we have returning, and Marty's definitely a player that we feel can have an impact on our program short-term and long-term. The advantage, once again, of having her come in a semester is she'll be able to train with us and play with us this spring and start in the fall as a, as a, a true freshman. And we're, uh, we're happy that Marty's here and is, a, and is a buff. Becca Rasmussen has joined us uh, this spring uh, from the University of Georgia, where she played three seasons in the SEC. Uh, Becca is a local product out of Golden, um, played her club soccer with Colorado Rush. Uh, Becca is another player that we recruited hard um, on the front end, and we're very excited that she has come back and has transferred back for her senior season, but also has the spring to train with the team. Becca's got tremendous quickness with and without the ball. Um, she can play uh, wide as a wide forward. She can play centrally as a midfielder, attacking out of the midfield. Um, I think the same thing, once again, that separates Becca from a lot of uh, players um, and will really help us in our conference is the fact that she is so quick on the ball. She can cover ground. She's got a great engine. Um, tremendously fit um, and have an opportunity to work with us this spring to work on her kind of her final piece, the final ball or finishing. Um, I think she's going to have a real impact on our team and in the Pac-12 conference uh, this upcoming fall.